This is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. This week, a paint-by-numbers picture that sort of works. Anyone who has ever watched a James Bond film knows that they all follow a certain formula. Action, gadgets, women, and villains. Spectre, which is the 24th film in the long-running franchise, follows this formula to the letter, but it is arguably the dullest in the current series. This isn't to say that it's bad. It's not. However, after 2012 Skyfall, Spectre feels like a letdown. It's surprising because, like its predecessor, it is directed by Sam Mendes. Mendes, who is known for his impressive visual, doesn't disappoint here. The opening sequence of Spectre is nothing short of spectacular, and in a nod to the originals, it's nice to see Bond being Bond when it comes to charming the ladies. However, the overall storyline falls short and never goes beyond the tried-and-true formula. As another critic put it, it's possible to leave the movie for half an hour and then come back without having missed anything at all. While the series isn't known for being especially complex and creative, a little more effort would have been appreciated. Furthermore, even the villains come up short. Two-time Oscar winner Christoph Waltz does the best with the material he is given and comes across as a fairly convincing maniac. But even the big lead-up to his confrontation with Bond, as well as the big reveal of his identity, ends up falling flat. Despite the addition of Monica Bellucci and Leia Sado, there really isn't a lot for the women to do in this movie. Indeed, the most interesting female character is Miss Eve Moneypenny, played by the engaging and charismatic Naomi Harris, who is on screen for a woefully short amount of time. However, despite these shortcomings, Spectre isn't bad, it's just forgettable. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. Catch up with us at TakeTwoMovieReview.com and feed us back on the Take Two Movie Review page on YouTube.